Yeah. How the fuck I survived this long? All the shit I did wrong, living in my memories. Six mile the hood gave a certain type of energy. Mortal Kombat, the ghetto almost finished me. Living reckless, young and restless, it was recreation, dodging investigations. My homies was catching cases. God must had a plan for me. This verse was premeditated to share my story and salute my niggas who never made it. It's your boy Ty Ferris, rocking with Theramatic. Fuck with it. With cold is the cold is leave a cold. I break the mold like Derrick Rose bones when he drove. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, me and my boy, me and my boy Famous was in the group called, he was famous in Flame at the time, and we went to St. Andrews, went in there because they was doing the eight mile battles. This is 2003, 2004, sometime like that. So, we went in there and we started battling, and we caught his attention, and we ended up signing with him, was in the group under him called the Purple Gang, and then, you know, we was with him until literally, you know, he got killed and shit. So, yeah, I was with P from about four years. From there, man, uh, man, it was a little turmoil, because we end up, like, uh, we end up leaving, like, the label he was under. We didn't see eye to eye with the people who was there. So we left there, and me and my homie was doing, we did, like, a couple mixtapes after that, and then I started doing my solo stuff, and from there, dropped a solo and then I tried the radio shit like I was saying and you know I had a song on the radio back in the day got my I got a I got a good summer in you know what I'm saying but with radio they want you to keep feeding and I'm like man shit I like I like the music but man I want to show them motherfuckers I could rap good you know what I'm saying so you know I I had got into a crossroads and like yo I might not be a fucking superstar I'm not it's not maybe meant for me to be fucking Drake or some shit like that Maybe it's meant for me to be Ty Ferris and fucking do the music I do and rap about what I've been through in my life, man. Ever since I made that decision, it's been the best thing I've done in my music career. Uh, welcome to Room 39, where the streets and the black minds in the twine. Most niggas blind. Don't so, uh, I, I've done two albums. I did the first album, like my original album was uh, called Rider Music. I got dropped that in like 2013. Uh, from there, I met the producer named Trax. That's who did Room 39. I met him around that time, and uh, he sent me a beat. And I was like, yo, man, this is crazy. He's like, yeah, man, I want to keep it for my project. So I'm like, you know what, man, let's do a project together. So this is starting like 2014. We started, you know, working on the project. We didn't have a name for it at the time, Room 39. It wasn't none of that shit. So, uh, you know, uh, I caught a DUI case in the middle of that. So it kind of slowed me down for his recording, dealing with all the legal shit and restrictions on me being able to move around to studios. So uh, it took a little longer than it should have took. But uh, after that, once we got it rolling, it was like, okay, I, I recorded about 30, about 25 to 30 songs for it and broke it down to what it, it became. So it was like, and uh, 12 songs on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So it came about me me reaching out to Trax and saying, let's do a project. And the actual name of it, I got it from my boy. His name is uh, Ray. He hit me up like uh, 3 in the morning. He be watching the conspiracy theory shit like that and Illuminati YouTube clips. And he's like, yo, send me a clip about something saying the top 10 uh, places you don't have access to. And Room 39 is number one. It's a building in North Korea. So uh, I was like, yo, man, that's dope. And you know, when you hear Room 39, it makes people think like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? So I made a parallel of that to make it as, like I never really get personal in my music. So I tried to open up as much as I would allow myself in Room 39. So Room 39 is me, opposed to, you know what I'm saying? There's one of the people like, yo, we don't never hear you talk about no family, your kids, your mom, any of that. So I, I, I sprinkled it in there and that's how I came up with the name and shit. I ain't no gangster, I never was. Just a part-time thug trying to pedal drugs, pedaling the dirt bike, conflicts with convicts. Was man, no, man, me and Royce is cool, man. That's like, you know, uh, I fucked with Royce probably about five, six years ago. Cause me and his brother, Kid Vicious, was real cool. We, we, I was still with, we real good friends. So uh, he used to be in the studio in my neighborhood, and Vicious like, man, come through. So I used to go through there, and you know, that's how I ended up becoming cooler with Royce and. You know, I reached out to Royce when I caught my DUI shit because, you know, he he went through some shit like that. And, you know, once, once I started talking to him on the text and shit like that, we did a song on my Rider Music album as well. So I, I was like, yo, man, I got this joint for this new project. I, I wasn't sending it to the, you know, for him to get on. 
shit is crazy. I wasn't sending it to him to get on. He's like, yo, this is dope. You seen Focus? I'm like, man, I ain't had a drink in fucking 17 months. He's like, yo, all right, cool. I'm going to run. I'm going to jump on this. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's do it. So I, it was dope that he just wanted to jump on the song with me. But, yeah, me and Royce is cool. I talked to him last night. We talk about boxing and, you know, music all the time. I can see sweat on my silhouette. The Grim Reaper sending threats. Shadow boxer with demons so I can get respect. Use your imagination. Your well, man, yeah, man, I grew up on Six Mile. I, I grew up on Six Mile, but I was raised on Davidson. So it's, a, it's really like a mile radius over there on East of Davidson. And I grew up around nothing but blood. I never was a blood. I I was basically one, but I ain't never was. You know, like if all my homies is blood, and like man, I want to play basketball, man. I want to be a game banger, bro. <laughs> like, but if you get into a fight, I'm fighting with you. So you know, that's how I was. Like, yeah, I, I hung around bloods all for at least five years straight. It's like man, I, and a lot of them got killed, bro. It's crazy. Like that shit looked like uh, you remember the song banging on wax and shit like that. That shit was really going down. Like man, it was scary to live in the hood with them bloods and the, uh, what the fuck at the insane. We they was IVLs, insane vice lords, and it was the the GDs and the fucking. What the fuck was the Crips name back then? But this shit was crazy. It was it was real turf wars and shit. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I try to sprinkle that in there, man. You know, just to give a little backdrop of how I was brought up and came and you know, I ain't, I ain't never tried to claim I was some super gangster too, type of dude, but I was around that shit and I've, you know, I've been in some situations and shit, so yeah. Quicksand. See homies balling out these spirits looking like the six man. Cardi frames is like a passport to heaven gates is like a dunk contest. I'm watching shit, man, that's what we doing, man. I got I got like two more projects I want to drop. Like I, I didn't drop nothing. I dropped a little freestyle mixtape in 2016 just to keep my, you know, audience you know happy for a minute but now i got i've been stacking original songs and making sure i purchase the beats and shit like that so i gotta uh i'm actually about to drop some hopefully at the top of april a little six song ep back to the the rap and the freestyle and shit but i'm doing it on original beats you know what i'm saying might as well get some fucking money off of it so <laughs> that's what's next and then i'm gonna be in june i'm gonna be doing the team backpack shit i'm flying out to la for that so yeah that and then i'm at the end of the year I, I got an album I want to get out if I, God willing. Take cover, hit a kill all these fake future cousins and Drake brothers. My mentality gradually was affected because I was repping my section with Smith and Wessons, but stressing because at any second is blessing. We call life can get snatched. I give back where the kids lack a real father figure.